Welcome back to Piano for the Blind. Today's lesson is Lesson 8. And in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to figure out any major or minor scale. So, as you guys know, I have taught you seven major scales and seven minor scales, but there are still the sharps and flat scales, which I have not taught you for this very lesson. And so, by the end of this lesson, you're going to implement what I teach you here today to figure out those other sharps and flat scales. So, you might ask, why am I going to teach you this instead of just teaching you the scales? Well, one, for fun, and so you can play around with it and think for yourself to figure these out, um, just using what I teach you here, but also so you can use this to remember any of these major or minor scales. So, Because I, I get it, you know. In total, it's like, what, 24 scales? So uh, you may not completely remember one, potentially. And if you're, like, wanting to build out a song or something and you're like, what was the G minor scale? Well, you can implement what I did and it can help remind you. So I'm going to do the major first, major scales first, and then minor, and it's just a pattern that you look for with the distance of the notes, intervals. It comes back to the whole steps and half steps that I taught you. Uh, so I really hope, <laughs> I really hope you learned whole steps and half steps, uh, because you need them for this. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna just go on our old friend C major. And I could, as I've said before, I could go on a different type of thing, but it's just easier just to go on C major and just show what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go over for, this is for any major scale. This is um, the distance that you would, the intervals, the whole steps and half steps that you need to look at to be able to figure out the notes in this like major scale. Um, for any of the major, major scales. And it is whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So if you wanted to try to group some of that up, two whole steps, one half step, three whole steps, one half step. And I'm going to give you an example with C major just so you kind of understand um, how we go about this. So we're going to be on the C. Now you know all the notes for the C major scale. And um, so we're just going to go through those notes. And then you're going to kind of see how this works. So as I said, the first distance that we travel. So we're on C. And then the first distance is going to be a whole step. Which gets us to D. Then there's a second whole step. Gets us to E. Then there's a half step that gets us to F. Then a whole step gets us to G. Another whole step gets us to A. And another whole step gets us to B. And then the last half step that gets us back to C. So as you just noticed, then it's very easy to kind of show on a C major scale because there are no sharps and flats and it's just going from one note to the next. So you just plug that in, as I just showed you with the distances, and it will reveal to you the notes of the major scale that you want to know. We could do this for any of them. So I didn't even plan to do this, but we're just going to do this for the D major. So just to kind of push the point. So we're on D, and again, the, the pattern is two whole steps. One half step, three whole steps, and one half step. So we're going to do our first whole step, So, which is D to E. Then our next whole step, which is E to F sharp. And then we have our half step. And that gets us from F sharp to G. Then our next whole step, which is G to A. And then... Next whole step, A to B. Then another whole step, B to C sharp. And then finally that last half step, 
which gets us from C sharp to D, back to D. So, which, um, it, those are all the notes of the D major scale. So, hopefully you guys got it. I decided to give you a second example just to push it forward. But that is just how you figure out the, like, what a major scale is and what notes are in it by using that, um, little pattern there of whole steps and half steps. And as I said, I want you to go to those sharps and flats and figure out the sharps and flat major and minor scales using these methods. So now we're going to get into the minor pattern that we use, the pattern that we use to figure out minor scales. And now we are going to be on a minor to show you how it works to just implement the pattern to find a minor scale. So we are going to be on our A for, you know, our A minor. And the pattern for minor scales um, is whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. So if you want to think about it like this, one and a half whole step. So like, yeah, like a whole step and then a half step can be a one you think about. Then two whole steps, then a half step, and then two whole steps. And we'll just demonstrate that here with the A minor, and it'll become crystal clear. So, first on our A, A to B, that is a whole step. And then B to C, that is a half step. And then C to D, that is a whole step. D to E, another whole step. E to F, half step, then F to G, whole step, and then finally G to A is a whole step. Again, the pattern for finding out minor scales is whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. So hopefully you guys got it. Um, I don't know how long this was going to take to explain. Pretty short. I have another lesson that I'm going to do that's going to teach you how to know what chords are in the major or minor scale you're playing in. Um, a pattern that you can just use. This doesn't involve whole steps and half steps, but it'll be very good for you to remember to know what chords to maybe try out that may work for you. So I'm excited to bring that to you in Lesson 9, but... That's been it for Lesson 8, and I will see you guys in the next lesson.